in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Hallelujah. 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 Tonight um tonight's prayer is very powerful. I thank you for coming, but I want you to pay attention while still praying. Hallelujah. Listen. This prayer point you see are the secrets that God gave me for my life. Hallelujah. It takes love for you, otherwise I would never bring them out. The Bible says, don't cast your pearl before swine. Every great man has secrets. And only a foolish man will throw kingdom secrets. These are mysteries that I have kept for many years that God vowed by his name that if these truths are kept, there will be no limit. Hallelujah. There's no shortcut to the realm of greatness. Please listen. There is no shortcut to the realm of greatness. I can tell you why many of us may never rise higher, no matter how we pray and cry and go. The reason is because when it comes to this subject of sacrifice, there are very few that have passed this test listen you must give up something to go up you cannot hold yesterday and tomorrow at the same time today is the line that separates yesterday from tomorrow and you must choose one to remain in yesterday or to leave yesterday for tomorrow hallelujah this is what has separated preachers into different cadres. This is what has separated anointed people. This is what has separated business people. This is what has separated exceptional people. There are no shortcuts, brothers and sisters. Sacrifice. Even in the occult, even in the occult, it is taught you must lay down something to go up. Hallelujah. Every great man can tell you can show you what he laid down if you can't remember what you laid down you shouldn't be great because it's something that should cost you your life ladies some of you want to marry great men of god oh god give me the question is what are you bringing to the table because god is not a foolish god give me prosperity lord i must be a millionaire sacrifice john chapter 10 John chapter 10 we are going to pray please if, if this is the only thing you will get in these seven days it will change your life John chapter 10 verse 17 17 and 18 let's see something very instructive as we pray and I want you to pray with all your heart 17 and 18 help us John 10 17 and 18 Therefore, doth my father love me. Why? Because I lay down not my intelligence, not my resources. I lay down my life that I may take it again. Next verse. This is what we are going to pray. No man takes it from me. In other words, I was not forced into it. He says, I have 
power. That's what we are going to be praying tonight. I have power to lay it down. And I have power to take it again. Hallelujah. So when you, leave, when you see a man leave his ambition, it's not because he's a stupid person. He has the power to lay it down. When you see great things that you can get, but on account of the kingdom, you leave it. It's a sign of tremendous strength in the spirit. It's called the power to lay down. The power to lay down. That's what many Christians don't have. Listen, if you don't have the power to lay down, you will never be able to give God anything. There is power that helps men lay down. He say, I have it. The power to lay down. Hallelujah. This morning I woke up and God just gave me a very mighty instruction. A huge seed that the ministry should sow. And immediately I made calls. I said, this seed, let this transfer be done. This and that, let it live immediately. I cannot tell you, listen. I cannot tell you how many times I have emptied my account before the Lord in honor of him when you see a man great don't look at the crown look at the scar the testament of sacrifice hallelujah there is nothing in my life today and god is my witness that i cannot give god if god says this is the last night i am preaching i will drop this mic i will only cry because i love what i'm doing but I would drop it never to pick it up again. That, that death that produces power is not in many of us. We love God, but to lay things down. This is the secret of joy and peace. When you have an affinity for things, you are ready to die. Because your joy is tied to them. The Bible says where your treasure is. Where your treasure is. Your treasure is in that relationship. So you move at the frequency of it. Your treasure is on that job. Your heart is there. So you move at the frequency of it. Great men in life. Winners in life are those who have lost whatever they, they, they won. Those who win the Olympic. Listen. They win the Olympic because they have factored in not winning. Their joy is no longer from winning. Their joy is from expressing their passion. That's what makes them win. Because you see, the fear of laying things down cripples your advancement in that area. Many times, when God wants you to conquer a realm, he will ask you to surrender what is the greatest in that realm. The moment you surrender it, you have overcome that realm forever. Hallelujah. I'd like you to search in your life right now. What can God make a demand of that you cannot give him? I know many of us say, oh God, take everything. It's not true. It's not true. Because if it were true, I guarantee you, many of us will not be where we are. And I'm not just talking of money. Listen, money is the least of what God wants from you. My son, give me your heart. You know how heavy it is to give God your heart? Your heart is the central focus, the pivot, the epicenter of your relevance and God says from beginning to the end it will always be always be you Jesus oh Jesus nothing else matters nothing in this world will do For Jesus, you're the center And everything revolves around you Jesus Sing from my heart From my heart to the heavens Jesus, be the center It's all about you Yes, it's all about you. Listen, there are, there are preachers who will never move forward because 
heart attack their their ego is tied to the ministry they want everything done well they they are for the sake of their reputation god knows god knows that in this life if you are to set if you are to set anything in my life on fire there are three things i'm going to request for number one my books my books not books i read books that represent the visions of my destiny then maybe number two my phone when i get that one burn everything to ashes it means nothing to me you must come to a point i'm not teaching you irresponsibility i'm teaching you how to gain things in the spirit we gain by losing we gain by losing everything you cannot lose is what satan will hold on to and destroy your life some of us will never marry because we can't lose relationships there is such allegiance to it you can go to hell fire with the with the brother there are people who love ministry more than god god says leave ministry god forbid they they are so obsessed about being men of god that they will leave god's presence to be men of god sacrifice he says gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant hallelujah you see a jimmy here let me tell you a little story about him i remember the first crusade let me tell you a little the history of this ministry huh it's only koinonia that is five years the ministry is not five years when we started our first crusade this was the person who designed the poster he was the only one who had a computer i will never forget now i'm not teaching you to do it he deliberately carried over a course because of that crusade deliberately was the best student in his set but it was a sacrifice it was not just being stupid i'm not saying all these crazy things people do around no but this was his heart was in it he designed the poster the shirts for the crusade the ladies the first sets of ladies in this ministry when we went to the place of the crusade they climbed trees to plot the firewood they were members of welfare they were members of worship one of the times we'll show you the video aaron victor you see all it was not protocol now that time they were members of technical they would carry the equipment on their head and climb a mountain like hill and you see them singing and dancing sacrifice i will never forget one of the nights after the meeting I was so tired i slept off with my suit it was one lady who came and removed my shoe she's married now not flesh not lost passion backed up by sacrifice that's what you see today people laid down their finances one time we're in need of so much money and a jimmy carried his entire uh, computer then and he just put on sale who wants to buy so that moon it, it was never god is my witness i never had my scholarship once once everything for the king what are you willing to lay down to go up god will not just appear to you he's not an idiot it takes sacrifice are we together right now someone is playing keyboard here he's already frowning at you and say i need fifty thousand every month that that guy my talent must be rewarded you see let me tell you that's why we never grow in the kingdom by the grace of god i know and i love the workers in this ministry they work their life out sacrifice someone arrange you must begin to look at life from a cost dimension not just a pleasure dimension lazy and weak people are the ones who want others to do it and then we enjoy it we like a wolf that's why we are poor and broke in africa somebody do it for me but a true leader knows that it has to be your shoulder that others will climb up on. are we together sacrifice we want money no sacrifice 
nothing for the kingdom no commitment everything is for me myself there are times god will just instruct me and say carry your clothes carry this and sew them and i'm releasing it to go i think the workers know and, and i say it with all humility a man who came from kaduna state very clean beautiful car came and packed it and said man of god the lord instructed that i honor you this and i laughed and the lord told me don't collect it i now i'm not doubting whether god sent him or not but i know what god told me and i said pastor i love you and i bless you i pray for you but take your car the power to lay it down the power to lay it down there are times people have honored me with seats in millions and god has said no this is not for you transfer it whether for koinonia or distribute it to certain ministries brothers and sisters let me tell you if you do not have the power to lay down you will never go are we together that ability to release you will look foolish doing it until his hand rises upon your life the power to lay down what what can you not give god that's what we need to attack this night i'm not bothered about what you have given him there is an isaac that you cannot give god some of us you can give god everything but relationship the day god says kai mr man leave this sister you will bind and cast and say god do any other thing but leave this one and that becomes the devil's access point others is your beauty you can't lay it down even time to pray you are praying and looking and admiring yourself and doing all, all kinds of careless things in the presence of god others this sense of big manism there, there are too many nonsense that we need to lay down when you come before god you must come knowing that lord a man can have nothing except that which is given to him i love god more than koinonia i love you so much you know that but if god makes a demand today i will look at you cry like you and wave my hands and say bye bye i love you but i love him do you love him that much it's not just praying and say god give me power we have to suspend the counseling temporarily those of you who come for the counseling know i will begin to counsel people from morning sometimes till 9 10. this morning i was praying i think he was there they just dragged somebody who could not walk well from judging the family carried the car they didn't even ask for permission they had come for counseling once so they knew my place it was while they came to do something that he was going I, I was just trying to rest because i had hardly slept i was even weak i needed to just rest small and pray the heart of sacrifice you want to do ministry many of us want crowd do you have the heart to attend to god's people without demanding money without demanding money some of you here pastors you are looking at me scattered in the congregation if god gives you half the grace you are seeing you will drop those beads on one uh, offering uh, uh, what they call it that container that basin one side and build people to bless them do you have the sacrifice most of the leaders you are seeing here many of them have not really broken their fast with food just took liquid and had to make sure everywhere is in order you may just come sit down enjoy the excellence and go back but your your breakthrough is riding on the pains of somebody god's system his kingdom will only ride on the shoulders of men when they change the method they died sacrifice is always the way to carry the ark it was supposed to be on the shoulder of priests at a point they said no 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 let's let's use another technology they made machines and god scattered it the ark will always be on the shoulders of men so every time you want something great don't look at the crown the other side of the equation is there is a sacrifice god is my witness and you can tell how many times i pray for myself my prayer is for you while you are sleeping and praying change somebody's story change somebody's life I don't know how many hours I've slept when this thing started. Sacrifice. Hallelujah. Are we together now? 
Sometimes you see me come late for koinonia. It's not just that I just sit down and cross my leg. We may be coming from a trip, coming from somewhere. Straight. Not even to think of the issue of food. Brothers and sisters, there is no way around it. It is through sacrifice. Are we together? You must be able to lay something. As the student, people use all kinds of skills to pass exam. Cold water and they put their legs inside. You think they like it? Sacrifice. One hand is driving mosquitoes and the eyes painstakingly looking at the book. It's called sacrifice. You will see a lady tying her weave on through the rain and running through it to go and write exam. Sacrifice. That's how it is in the spirit. If you are unwilling to lay down something, business people, listen, let me talk to you. It takes sacrifice. Don't think you just wear suit and say, I'm a CEO. CEO of nonsense. There, there, there is tears. There is pain. The sacrifice, the audacity to lay things down sometimes your profit is there for you to eat but you need to endure that's what is killing us in nigeria you start selling shoes you get five thousand naira with the five thousand you buy a shoe and say see what god has done you come and testify here and be poor for the rest of your life sacrifice i like the Igbo people in this you will see an Igbo person who is a multi-millionaire for instance he will just make sure the resources he meets his basic needs with it while enduring the day you know is rich is the day you will marry. That's the day he will show you that my greeting you on sandals and eating yam on the street is not a sign of stupidity. I'm, I'm enduring the present for the future. That sense of sacrifice we lack in our generation. We want everything now sharp, sharp. You start ministry, you want 50,000 people. We want to be like Oedeko to build an auditorium of 1,000 capacity as if he, start, he built it when he started the ministry. See? So that sense of process, the sacrifice of going through process. Brothers, let me challenge you. We are going to pray, but I'm talking to you from my heart. Stop living a fake life. Don't try to look rich. Pay the price and be wealthy. Don't try to look it. Oh, my suit, my this. No, 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 no. Don't try to look anointed. Pay the price and be really anointed. Don't let any man fool you. It's not everything in the kingdom that is a gift. There are things that are rewards. Rewards of pain. Rewards of silent nights. Rewards of times where you will sit down and say, Will the sun ever rise? And there his voice comes to you. My grace is sufficient. Are we together? What is happening to us here right now is sacrifice. There are people right to the back. Some you people like are even lucky inside here. There are people outside, all the overflow, standing, praying, who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The Macedonians did not just give their offering, the Bible says they gave of themselves. Can you sacrifice your strength? to build the house of God some of you have been here for so long you've not joined any department you just stroll and roam around prayer department when you are you have some problems and just peep, enjoy yourself and run back sacrifice sacrifice I love people who who have have mastered the art of releasing things when I see a man who has affinity for anything, the person irritates me. Because I know that that person will infect me with a wrong spirit. Whosoever keeps his life shall lose it. Your fear of keeping it will make you lose it. But whosoever will lose it for my sake. Everything belongs to him. My money is God's money. And I mean it literally. My joy is his joy. My life is his life. There is nothing. I've, I've asked God, if there is anything I cannot give you in my life, Joshua Selman, tell me. I will lay it down. Years ago, God asked me, said, can you give me your life? Ah! I thought about it. I said, no, God, I can't give you my life. I can give you my, I can donate myself for persecution and all of that, but I can't give you my life. 
and God did something to me I have the power to lay it down a dead man does not fear again because you are dead the reason let me tell you why many of you are afraid you are afraid of everything you are only afraid of what you think you have anything that has left you why do you fear it again you are, are you afraid of this water it's not your own they brought it for me if somebody wants to touch it the owner is the one who gets concerned if I want to touch a Jimmy's child now Pastor Alpha will not react to his child because he's not your own he's the owner of the child so you are reacting to things in life because you are the owner when you hand it over to God you will watch things like this and say God if you don't change it that's your cup of tea that's how I do ministry I never give myself headache to say oh God my reputation I, I left it to him since if God stands to watch me fall it's his cup of tea put pressure on God with your sacrifice let God know that your life means nothing to you compared to him and you will see God move in ways that will shock you are you willing to lay it down are you willing to lay it down or this holding is my money that's what made many of our parents poor my money my house and God said maintain it since it's your own May, you must maintain it so the economy knows dives and you know dive with it but when you hand it over to God Bishop Oyedeko said the day they were dedicating Covenant University the Lord asked him lie down on the ground in the presence of everybody and hand over this institution to me and he did so and God visited him we are going to pray right now lift up your Isaac that thing that you have refused to lay down and say God it belongs to you it belongs to you and I mean it literally if you make a demand of it I will release it to now I receive the power to lay down lift your voice and pray the power to lay down my business the power to lay down ministry the power to lay down your joy your ambition the power to lay down your accolade the power to lay it down Lord, I have no affinity for anything, 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 anything. belongs to you oh, oh, oh it all belongs to you it all belongs to you oh, oh, oh it all belongs to you Listen, 2007, I've shared my story. I went to Port Harcourt with 800 Naira. 800 Naira. They escorted me to the park and I went. I dropped at number 23, Equerry Street. 800 Naira home and abroad. And a bag that was given as a seed. I will never forget 
an instruction God gave me one time. It was Christ Embassy Prosperity Convention. Reverend Eddie Owasi, evangelist. And challenged people to sow. Others were sowing cars, land. I didn't even have anything like that. But I remember going there. I carried literally, God is my witness. All my clothes, my rechargeable lantern and everything. I zipped the bag. I laid my hands on it and prayed in tongues for three hours at a stretch. I said, Lord, this is all I have to give you. This is all I have to give. I must break the back of poverty. What my father did not give me, let me give my children. I will pay the price. He didn't know, but me, I can't afford. No, no, no. I can't let my child. I can't give him explanation and lie to him and say it's the way Nigeria is. Because he will ask me, why are we like this? When I prayed, I carried that bag. When I came for a meeting like this, I was at the overflow outside. And I held the bag. And people were going to drop seats at the altar. And the Holy Spirit humiliated me. He said, you will not go. Stay back. I stayed back. When people finished sowing their seed, then the Lord said, you can now go. It's not like the bag was fine. It's not even like it was... There were ladies in that place i'm a young man you know the embarrassment but sometimes you need to you need to love your tomorrow more than your today such that it, it doesn't embarrass you to give up anything i dragged that back before everybody god is my witness i was praying in tongues somewhere laughing at me but that's their business i don't know where they are today i dragged that back listen when i dropped that bag at the altar i knew i died when you give Ishmael, you can laugh. It's not every giving. Cheerful does not mean laughing. Because there is he that soweth and weepeth. You will ask yourself, did I hear God? I dropped that seed. I went back outside and sat down. And the Holy Ghost spoke expressly to me. He said, son, from today you have entered wealth. Hallelujah. I think it was last year or 2014 at the beginning of the year the Holy Ghost gave us an instruction to carry everything when I say the money of the ministry everything everything I believe in savings principles but I believe in obedience the stupidity of sacrifice we carried everything like fools and sold everything do you know what that means a ministry that you, you labor savings investment everything and you carry everything to be stupid and not to be greedy. and god began to bless and multiply strangely and mysteriously till tomorrow something you are withholding is keeping you where you are are you hearing what i'm saying and i'm not talking money brothers and sisters let your mind not go to money something you are refusing to hand over to donate to god and say lord i give you this i will be responsible over it but the day you place a demand it must go is it your car is it your house see pastor say my ministry and it's killing them they have to reconcile all the troublemakers in the ministry they have to because it's their own my business he said when you have built houses do not say my power and the might of my hand has given me this he said but thou shall remember it means you can forget i like you to pray and say my god take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord use all of me all of me lord pray lord take everything take everything my life my intellect my gifts my skill A man of God held his beautiful wife and they made up their minds that they were going to serve the Lord as instructed by God. God placed a demand and told them he needed them in the vineyard. When the man went to go and meet the girl's father and said, 
God has called us into the vineyard, the father looked at the lady and he asked her in which language did God speak to him. The man was angry and said, this, took, this idiot wants to humiliate. You know, the world makes you think obey, except you are obeying your mind. But if it's the God of heaven you are obeying, today, I will not mention the name of the man of God. Today, I'm sure the father and the mother will live off the blessing forever. Forever. Let nothing be too much that you cannot give God. People's phones lost and they, they become mad temporarily. And it's not like there's anything on the phone. Useful. They are not doing anything. But because of your attachment, am I against responsibility? No. They steal your laptop and steal your joy with it. Steal your hope. You, you move around, no, 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 I can't understand. But the day you didn't see your Bible, you left it in Kononia, you were patient till next Friday before you came and carried it because your heart is not there. Are we together? Yeah. Sacrifice. You're spending time with God, pray. Somebody just calls and says, are you free? You say, yes, I'm free. God, wait. Where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be. Please, don't just laugh. I'm not entertaining you. This is the secret of greatness there is nothing I cannot do ah, I have loved him more than my necessary food some of us you have given God your money but you have not given him your time some you have given God time but your finances is your own some you have given your spirit but your body is still your own that's why your body is putting you in trouble when you don't surrender everything then he's not lord of your life lord means master owner it also means controller the bible said the spirit drove jesus he didn't tell him to go jesus's body was such on under such influence the holy spirit drove that body to the wilderness i'd like you to pray and say lord any area of my life i've been unable to give you i receive grace to hand it over to you right now please pray as you are praying god will be telling you the areas you have given me a and b but you have not given me this area some of us is your commitment your time to fellowship in the house of god you've given god everything but when you come to church one hour you are complaining one hour you are crumbling lord i give you my time my times are in your hand. I give you my intellect. I give you my skill. I give you my business. I give you everything. Belongs to you. Belongs to you. hallelujah two more prayer points quickly i like you to pray this with all your heart i like you to pray and say every spirit of ownership listen that spirit that that tries to you are not an owner of nothing you are a steward a steward everybody says steward you will die when things belong to you you are a steward steward means you are trusted with it the owner is god the ministry is not your own the business is not your own you are a steward and the bible says moreover it is required of stewards that they be found faithful hallelujah you are going to pray and say lord i relinquish ownership that spirit of possessiveness that make me want to hold on to things my thing my business my money i like you to pray and say lord i let there be a transition from an owner to a steward lift your voice and pray outside make sure you are praying oh i own nothing it belongs to you jesus i'm a steward you gave me a privilege over it pray you are a mother say lord i'm a steward of that child I'm a steward in this marriage. I'm a steward in this business. I 
I'm a steward in this ministry. I relinquish ownership. That sense of ownership is depressing me. That sense of ownership is killing me. That sense of ownership has stung my ego. I pray and relinquish ownership. It belongs to you. I surrender it. I sacrifice it. I sacrifice it. I will unashamedly let the whole world know that the anointing belongs to you. That the grace belongs to you. That the wisdom belongs to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more prayer point. Ownership is a dangerous thing. See, because the owner of anything is also the one who sponsors the maintenance. If your life is your own, you will maintain it by yourself. There are arrows that fly beyond your control. If your reputation is your own, you will maintain it. It's costly to maintain reputation. Are we together now? Ownership. Please listen. Don't just pray this as a chorus just for tonight. These are divine secrets. It's one of the biggest secrets of this ministry. You never, if I say it, maybe it's a mistake. Hear me say, my workers in terms of possessiveness. Even today, you, you've heard, I hardly am able to call people sons and daughters. Sometimes people are angry and say, no, I want you to call me son or daughter. But it's not like I don't believe in it, but to even say son or daughter, I feel, I feel, um, I feel, I almost feel guilty to say it. But some of you, where you are, you like it. Everybody, including your mother, your father is your son and your daughter. You like it. Possessiveness. Oh, I just uh, bought this car is my own. God just uh, gave us wisdom and I was able to build this. Look at what God has done. And God is saying, you are just using my name to, to lie. You are glorifying yourself using me. Maintain it. And then an armed robber comes. That's when you will know that if it belongs to you, you maintain it. You enter the relationship, but it's my relationship. I must do this. And it's killing you. You are cooking every day for the guy. You don't know whether he's going to marry you or not. You, you are even confused. You are prayed. And God said, it's your relationship. You have rejected my wisdom because it's your marriage. Marry. Are we together? Please pray again and cry to the God of heaven. And say, Lord, I'm tired of pain. I hand it over to you. I'm tired of pain. I'm tired of disappointment that comes from ownership. I'm tired of pain. The pain of my ego being stung. I'm tired of pain. The pain of disappointment. I hand everything over to you. Shake paratos copariata. Oh, yes, it belongs to you. 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 My times are in your hands. My times are in your hands. My times are in your hands. Hallelujah. Listen. Some of you will go back this night and you'll be able to sleep sound. There are people who cannot sleep because of worry. You know what causes worry? Worry is a direct sign of ownership. In the Garden of Eden, man was never given ownership. In the kingdom, you are not given ownership. You are given access. He said you may freely eat of the tree. It's not your own, but you may freely eat. Are we together now? You may freely eat. If someone blesses me now with an envelope, God is my witness. I thank God for the money, but it belongs to God. If God doesn't say anything about it, I remove my tithe and do something useful with it. If God says, so it to this person, I say, it's going. I'm not teaching you to be careless, but you, there must be, you must increase 
your your ease of releasing things releasing things some of you there are clothes you are not using they will never be your size forever but to release it kai i say abba i bought something i wore it twice you kill that spirit in this fasting there are many things in our rooms in our homes shoes that are not your size they gave you as a gift but it's not your size release it to somebody god has instructed you since and you are saying kai god this thing is paining me i know how much i'm looking for somebody who will buy it you are a greedy person who will never rise up release until the clothes tear into pieces you tell the tale of patch here patch here and you say i'm, I'm donating to you no when was the last time two or three people came and said kai let's look at the house of god what is required in this house we are going to buy we are going to change the chairs for the minister four of us god is helping us at, at least we know we are not poor let's put together something listen this is what asks ask the people close to me i do it as a personal sacrifice there are times i tell the treasurer no leave this issue i will sow into the ministry because i believe in it i plan to remain the biggest giver in this ministry for a long time i do it with all my heart not because it's an obligation i do it from the depth of my heart sacrifice there are things that there are things that i cannot begin to tell you now because you think he's bragging there are reasons why i will never go down in my life there are monies i would have built houses with and done a lot of things that went by sacrifice for the school fees of people there are people working in different places today who on account of certain sacrifices are happy which devil will come and destroy my life sacrifice are we together sacrifice the sacrifice of waking up and not sleeping when you should be up praying god wants to speak to you you are lazy and sluggish no heart of sacrifice I want you to go back tonight and take action listen search your home any clothes or anything you know you are not going to be using don't say rainy day every, carry it and give. i'm serious there are people here god is going to speak to you you know you have new clothes new suits it's not your size you can't use it give it away release it and give space for more every time you reject you stop giving something you are telling god this is the limit you can bless me check around the house of god what can i do as a project for the kingdom not what koinonia is doing not project ten thousand. what can we do three of us if we cannot do anything let's buy a new glass cup for the man of god it is two thousand or three thousand. Oh god this is my sacrifice a new glass cup i bought for your house you must take kingdom responsibility listen by the grace of god this ministry is blessed we are dangerously blessed i'm not this is not some manipulation to collect your money we're a very responsible ministry but i must teach you i never go to a place and my seed will not leave there no there are times i go for ministration after they honor me i carry the honorarium bless them and sow it back sacrifice what have you done for the house of god you are looking at the worship team one day you just come together and say look let's put hundred thousand head of worship take this is for your traditional attires for miracle service this is our seed you don't have to stand and give testimony and say praise the lord i just wanted you to know that this beautiful design came from my creativity you have you have corrupted the beauty of your reward is god speaking to us when was the last time you said let me look for five sinners that gave their life to christ here and buy book five five hundred naira from jordan bookstore and just bless them and say this is my seed just to encourage your spiritual life sacrifice everything is about me my food my this my that when was the last time you saw someone in koinonia here you know you are fellow brethren and things have gone wrong in his life he doesn't have to cry you just say i have five thousand sir 
the Lord just led me to buy you a nice shirt. Some of you, God can't even give you this instruction because <clears throat> your heart is pegged to disobey his voice. So if God says it, he's wasting his time. There's a lady who sends me recharge card, 5,000 5, every month. She sent me a text yesterday. She said I'm in trouble. I was surprised at the speed at which I responded to her. Not that I'm showing favoritism. I remembered her sacrifice. This evening, I usually don't attend to people. The people who brought the guy who was not working well, God did a mighty miracle. That woman had met me one time and she blessed me in a way that I almost wept. And when she said, I'm sorry, man of God, I know you are praying, but this is an emergency. I, I had respect. I'm a man, but I had respect for her sacrifice. Don't come and say you want not from me. I, I'm, I don't need your money. I'm saying there is a way you can cry to God. God looks at your altar and there is a pile of sacrifice. When you lift your voice, even in praise and worship, God will say, no, I remember what you did for the kingdom. When Dorcas died, when Dorcas died, she was dead but her sacrifice was alive, calling her back to life. Calling her back to life. What have you done for the kingdom that you can look at the sacrifice in your village that was done to put you in poverty? What have you done in the house of God and say, Lord, I leave this as another priesthood, another altar. I know that it took slaying seven virgins to put my family in trouble, but I stand there is a sacrifice for your house. That sacrifice, I cannot sit down and nobody comes to bless me no 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 there is my sacrifice speaking there are too many things in the house of god only those who have the heart can see it are we together three or four people can come and say look for this month the boss protocol how much do you spend if i tell you how much we spend on bus per service you'll be amazed when I saw the, the, the financial breakdown, because I don't even put my hand there, I leave the finance department. When they were submitting the reports last year and I saw the expenditure of Koinonia, I couldn't believe. If I tell you how many millions, some of you will run away. I said, my goodness, see the mercy of God. But your own is to enjoy. That's why you remain there. It is more blessed to give. It's blessed to receive, but it's more blessed to give. And there is he that weepeth it's his tears that makes his seeds precious. God loves a cheerful giver, but he doesn't hate a crying one. The Bible doesn't say he hates a crying one. There are times you will need to cry. God is speaking to you. Last prayer, Lord, give me an instruction of a sacrifice for the next level of my life. If you don't believe, don't pray this prayer because God will answer you. Lift your voice and pray. Give me an instruction. Give me an instruction, oh God, of a sacrifice. Give me an instruction. I'm tired of this level. It's mocking the grace of God upon my life. Send me a word, oh God, my heart is inclined to hear and respond. Please pray, pray. Shaka baroto soto bariata baradabada. Give me an instruction. Give me an instruction. Speak to me, oh God. I will obey. I will obey. The grace has been released. I will obey. In the name of Jesus, I will obey. Hallelujah. Let's add one more prayer. I kill the spirit of greed from my life. Lift your voice and pray. Greed, you have cheated me. In 2016, I drive you far from my life. Pray. That spirit of greed, you have kept me in lack. You have kept me in insufficiency. You have tied down my life, my progress, my destiny. Pray. I kill the spirit of greed. I kill the spirit of greed. I kill the spirit of greed. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please lift up your prayer requests. Revelation 5 verse 12. Those outside, please participate. Lift up your prayer requests. Look for it wherever it is. Lift it up unto the God of heaven. Lift it up unto the God of heaven. And let's pray. What you are doing is sacrifice. Those outside, what you are doing is sacrifice. Every day you are coming. It's not just a religion. Sacrifice, whether on the positive or negative, releases power. Sacrifice releases power. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, wisdom, and strength. The word there is capacity. Capacity. They that know their God say they shall be strong takes the heart of sacrifice please lift your hands some of these requests are business ideas some of these requests lifted are things that will require sacrifice to provoke a response the sacrifice may not necessarily be money the sacrifice will be more time for studies are we together now go and learn about the business you want to excel in that may be the sacrifice the sacrifice may be the sacrifice of submitting yourself to mentorship the sacrifice may be the sacrifice of honor the sacrifice may be the sacrifice of prayer it takes sacrifice they went round Jericho once was God so powerless to have waited seven days they went around Jericho twice. And then on the seventh day, he said, go seven times. And then when you are exhausted, he said, blow the trumpet with all your energy. And when they did that, Jericho fell down. If they were to break that place with hammer, even one year, they will not destroy. When you say what you are doing is too much, let's look at the alternative. Poverty. Are, are we together now? some of you the devil is speaking to you and say i've been coming here every day look at the alternative 20 years of captivity they gave birth to you in it and god is saying give me time and let me bring rest to you on every side i'm about to pray for you the prophets of baal listen when they started calling on their god they first started by singing and when the matter got serious they started cutting themselves what did they want the god to see are we together they first started by singing they were dancing all around the mountain when it looked like the matter was becoming serious the bible says they took knives and started cutting themselves for him to see blood and say bear where are you what is all this and elijah was looking at them when it was time for elijah the bible says they put stones and he he slew animals he said god i know how to bring you down and he came down the fire came down and licked everything please lift those sacrifices my altar is calling you oh god my sacrifice is calling you oh god my secret place is calling you oh god take my praise oh god take my praise i prophesy over this request the same way jericho fell before israel i pray everything that has mocked god has lifted before the throne it falls tonight in the name of jesus it falls tonight in the name of jesus it falls tonight in the name of jesus, name of jesus. hallelujah the bible says the eyes of the father the eyes of god runs to and fro my god look down to your people there is an altar that calls you in this place and we're asking visit your people 
and give them testimonies visit your people and give them testimonies visit your people and give them testimonies visit your people and give them testimonies he told Moses Moses told them he said fear not he said stand still he said these Egyptians that you see you will see them no more forever I prophesy to you the challenges you are lifting before the God of heaven that have brought tears in possible situations that only require the hand of God may fire burn them to ashes in the name of Jesus may fire burn them to ashes in the name of Jesus may fire burn them to ashes in the name of Jesus hallelujah there is a God that not only hears but he answers I'm praying for you your eyes have seen it your ears have heard it may your hands handle the testimony may your hands handle the testimony koinonia may your hands handle the testimony in the name of jesus christ listen there are many of us here what you need for those answers is just a little more endurance are we together that's what God is saying what you need is just a don't give up the, the problem is there because you are about to give up the Bible says let us not be weary in well doing he said for we will reap in due season help her under the anointing if we faint not hear me I supply strength for you because listen some of these requests are ideas that you have tried and tried and tried some of you are at the verge of giving up because you are wondering will it ever happen god have waited i pray for you the bible says by the strength of an ox is much good is much profit realized i'm praying the endurance to continue receive it in the name of jesus the endurance to continue receive it in the name of jesus the endurance to continue receive it in the name of Jesus the endurance to continue that that go getter mindset that go getter that that die hard no return mindset I plant it in your spirit in the name of Jesus hallelujah the Lord is asking me to prophesy to some people to tell you what you did and failed go back that you fail does not mean my hand is not there go back and stay there till you succeed i like you to shout i will stay there say it i will stay there i will do it again until i succeed can we just pray it in one minute just pray it and say lord i'm not giving up no way i did it and failed but i stayed there i stayed there there is an anointing the place of my pain is also the place of my glory the place of my tears is also the place of my celebration i will stay there until victory comes he that endures to the end shall receive a crown and a white stone
is the power yours is the glory forever yours is the kingdom yours is the power yours is the glory forever part of the meeting we shabbat the lord in this place the king of kings the lord of lords take a moment to worship his majesty Elohim, 
not wasting your time. Just a minute or two pressing in his presence. Call him all the names you know him to be. King of kings. Lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David. The mighty God. There are times you will have no words to utter, so you say, Oh, 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 coming from they that love the king Son of the living God, we bless you. We are here because you are alive. You have orchestrated this convergence to change, to give us encounters. We bless you. We honor you. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Rock of Ages. In Jesus' name we worship. Mm. The presence of God is mighty in this place.
someone pray give me an encounter Worship you, give us encounters by your spirit. For in Jesus' name we pray. Please help those under the anointing. Help those under the anointing. You see, let me teach you something about the presence of God. It is one thing to talk about the presence of God, it is one thing to give a lecture about the presence of God. But it is another thing to host the presence of God. This one has nothing to do with being a preacher. Help that lady. I'm seeing fire resting on that lady. In the name of Jesus. Help her. Naimaka, Naimaka. Naimaka sojada Naimaka 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 sojada Naimaka 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 sojada Naimaka 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 sojada Just help those under the anointing. We are not worshiping an idol. This God that we serve is alive, the exalted King. We give you worship, worship, high praise. We give you worship, worship, the deepest praise. You have taken all my pain, you have taken all my shame, you have taken all limitations, you have taken all the sorrow, you have taken all the pain, you have taken all the sadness. You have taken all the tears You have taken all the sorrow You have taken me yours Naimaka, Naimaka, Naimaka Suchada, Naimaka, Naimaka Naimaka, Naimaka, Ni Naimaka, Sujada, Naimaka, Nabaka. Don't be tired, you'll be seated shortly. If this is all we do tonight, it was still what our coming. 
Maka sujadah You are not only giving him worship, you are also giving him your pain, you are also giving him your sadness. You put everything in that alabaster box. It is not only the worship you give, you bring your pain, you bring your sickness, you bring your disappointment and you break them at his feet. Jesus, much less name we worship. For in Jesus' name we worship. Hallelujah. It will be a brief session tonight, but listen, I came to stir up a fire in this place. I began to sense the power of God right from the place of stay. This man, the anointing is coming on him. I don't know if he's a pastor. Help him, please. Wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open now. With understanding, you honor the seasons. Create day and night, turning darkness into light. Arranging the stars to your feet. Please be seated if you can. The Lord bless you. I'd like you to help me when someone is under the anointing whether inside or outside please don't wait for the ushers just help them so that they don't injure themselves we're in his presence and indeed he will do us good tonight please help those two ladies i'm just seeing fire rest upon them those ladies there you have prayed and you asked god to visit you you call the conference the supernatural it's not the name of a conference help that man of god i don't know who that is but there is an anointing the lord is activating ministries there are powerless ministries that god is changing that narrative this is what i'm seeing help that man near the fan i'm seeing the anointing those ministers there in the name that is above all names let that be the end of a powerless ministry do the salutation a little after now you see what God is already doing when the waters is stirred it's always good to be sensitive to what he is doing this row of ministers I'm seeing fire fall on people here help them right now I release that fire back that grace now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God new seasons of encounters with the Holy Spirit let your ministries change to serve Jesus to be faithful witnesses in thee. in the name of Jesus the son of the living God chapter 4 you are the one that we praise you are the one we adore you give the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger oh our hearts always hunger We praise you are the 
one we adore You give the healing and grace That our hearts always hunger I hand the hand is black, but the dress is there someone like that? What's your name? Caleb. Where are you coming from? From Joss, sir. Joss, yes, I want sir. to pray for you. Your life is about to change. Do you believe that? I believe it, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, you call this gentleman to change his life. In the name of Jesus, Caleb, I pray for you. Let the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon you. Let it be a new season for you. Every limitation in your life, I declare, let him come. I declare that it is broken right now. In the name of Jesus, you're also Caleb, sir. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Who is Veronica? Veronica. Veronica. I'm going to pray for the sick. Veronica let's let's just flow as as the spirit do you know you will think because you are operating in the power of God for a long time you will get used to it I am I am as blessed as everybody who watches this happen to because the power of God is a mystery the anointing is coming on one of you right now i just saw light and when that light comes it is light that dispels darkness and it will announce a new season even in your life that the, the captivity that which has held you down it's about to give way right now you deserve the glory and the honor we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Shali bas kali branda gada da da. We lift our hands in worship as we bless as we bless your holy name. You are Majesty, we bless you. There is no one There is no one For you are great. You are miracles. There is no one And there is Hallelujah. Father, I pray for every one of these people. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Every captivity, everything that represents bondage by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it give way right now. In the name of Jesus. For he called you, and in the name of Jesus, he calls you to give you rest. Find rest by the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree and declare the bondage be broken right now. In the name of Jesus, be broken right now. Be broken right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be broken right now. I declare your freedom and your liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for the sick now. I want to pray for you. If you came with someone who is sick, I'd like you to just lay your hands on them. And if you are the one who is sick, lay your hands. You came with a photo, a point of contact. Please go ahead.
father in the name of jesus ah my god such a strong anointing to heal to correct some of you are receiving new body parts new body parts in the name of jesus christ now i pray every spirit that is back of any infirmity by the power that raised christ from the dead i command that you give way now i command that you give way now in the name of jesus for everyone who is sick be healed now be healed now migraine headaches be healed now cancer be healed now hiv be healed now every blood condition be healed now bone conditions for those of you who could not walk in the name of jesus i command that devil to give way that you begin to walk right now in the name of jesus every deaf ear be open now in the name of jesus every blind eye partial blindness total blindness in the name of jesus begin to see now every growth in your body breast lump fibroids i command them to disappear now the lord is healing someone with a right shoulder pain someone with a right shoulder pain be healed in the name of jesus there's someone i don't know if it's a swelling or something you have at the back of your neck just right here in the name of jesus i command it to disappear right now there's someone your stomach is bloated uh, uh, this is some kind of i don't know what sickness that is but it's led to a, a physical bloating of your stomach in the name of jesus i command that bloating to go down now chest pain be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now hepatitis be healed now i'm hearing i'm hearing the word meningitis in the name of jesus be healed now there is a man your challenge is a reproductive challenge and this is something that has been verified by the doctors this is this has this is has affected you and you're unable your wife is unable to give birth because of that i'm praying for you right now the power of god is coming upon your body this moment in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus there's someone just your your lower abdominal region you have something that looks like a lymph node but it has been there for a long time very painful in the name of jesus i command that devil to go now the lord is showing me someone who throws up what you eat when you eat you throw it up again you eat you throw it up again it's like food does not stay in your body in the name of jesus be healed right now be healed right now someone's right ear i don't know if it's that you couldn't hear completely or partially but that right ear is open now in the name of jesus the lord is showing me a woman i think this is a mother from abel kuta from abel kuta who is sick the power of god is touching that woman right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the name manchester and the lord is saying there is a woman who is emaciating following this program right now from manchester the devil is afflicting your body this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i declare be healed right now i'm seeing a woman lift up a boy that looks like between five or six just lift the child you are watching through a smart tv and that child has autism you are lifting the child as a point of contact in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i declare healing for that child right now healing for that child right now healing for that child right now there is a gentleman you are you are, you are you are a gentleman but when you go to ease yourself you are passing out blood you are passing out blood the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ 
I declare healing for you by the power of the Holy Spirit there is somebody outside you had voices this is where it started you had voices like people were talking and from that day there has been a noise in your ears even when there is silence you know it's just a sound a discomforting sound it's a demonic thing in the name of Jesus be healed right now be healed right now now whether I mention your case or not anyone here with a medical report I change that report right now I change that report right now anybody holding the photo of a loved one you are trusting God for them there are people who are connecting from national hospital connecting from federal medical centers other private hospitals in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed right now be healed right now someone you could not move your fist there's a part of your fist there's there's severe pain in the name of Jesus you can move it right now um, there is a child again is something that is, is 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 it looks like a genital issue with that child I don't know if the child is here but I'm seeing that there's something that needs to be corrected with that child in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know what it may be but I declare that that demonic thing corrected right now I declare it corrected right now I declare it corrected right now now the Lord is showing me a condition I don't know what that is but there's someone tears just starts coming out of your eyes you know how maybe if you are peeling onion and then that that irritation it's not like you are crying maybe under the anointing this is just it's a very embarrassing thing the Lord is healing you right now and then the Lord is healing a gentleman the Lord is showing me whether it is cold or heat you are always sweating your hands are always wet you can't hold something dry for it's almost embarrassing like water literally coming out of your body I don't know if there's a medical condition for that but in the name of Jesus wherever you are I bring you life and healing right now life and healing right now whether I mention your case or not be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name now here's what I want you to do my God there's such there are several miracles I'm seeing in the spirit I want you to check yourself right now everywhere outside everywhere inside check yourself now begin to do what you could not do the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you young old male female i like you to boldly leave your seat and come and stand at my left or right those who are coming from outside and from all the overflows if it's to testify please allow them so that they come miracles are already happening hallelujah miracles are happening please make your way come and stand they'll confirm you and then we'll take some testimonies. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy. Please let them come our medical people are here to help do the verifications outside there is a woman you don't stand easily until someone assists you you are outside try standing up now you will find out that you don't need an assistance the power of God has touched you right now I don't know who that person is there is a woman stand up right now and in the name of Jesus I declare healing for you please line all the people protocol help them so that they line up We'll just check them and we'll take a few testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. And there's someone you came here with pain. The Lord is showing me your molar, the right part of your molar. Severe pain, very severe. Looks like, I don't know if it's that there is a hole in it or something of that sort. But right now the power of God is touching you. I want you to check it. You will find out that a miracle has happened to you. Let's celebrate those who are coming. Jesus is touching people. It's called a miracle service. 
Okay. Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried. For in this sanctuary, now before we start taking the testimonies, um, you don't have to stand, but I want you to shout the name Jesus. You see, sometimes let me teach you something about the way the Spirit of God operates in our lives. Sometimes god will lead you to do things that don't make any sense at all you understand and there is a difference between you just acting in the flesh it will be very clear that you are acting in the flesh but when it is by the spirit you will see that in that which does not make sense the glory of god is even revealed and breathed because i thought that i would begin to pray you know minister deliverance for people those who are oppressed so that we we no, 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 please be careful. Just let them move back a bit. When I ask, just they can move back for what I'm about to say now. Now, the Lord just asked me that you sit down, but then I'm going to lead you to shout Jesus. And right from your seated position, there are many people that several spirits that have oppressed them, just like that. I want, those are the people I want you to pick them out and bring them here right now why these things happen honestly sometimes it is a is a sign and a wonder even for me now our ushers are there well trained but you know that there's a crowd of people especially for outside people are limited so please do well if you need to assist them if someone is under the anointing close to you being delivered please do well you can help them if the ushers are exhausted you can do well and help to bring the people so we're going to pray just one shout of that name jesus and I'm seeing the power of God bringing deliverance. Altars and yokes and all kinds of things while we verify the testimonies. And by the way, as the power of God touches you, those online, let us know what Jesus is doing. Our medical people are here, well trained to be able to collate the testimonies and then we'll take them right now. Are you ready? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Father, you have given me this instruction. There are people who are under demonic yokes some came here for the first time some have been here and it seems like the devil and all kinds of activities of witchcraft have tied you but as you shout that name jesus in the name of jesus as it was for ezekiel he said i prophesied as i was commanded let your deliverance come right now are you ready at the count of three while you are seated one two three shout jesus the name of jesus christ I command those devils release their destinies now release their destinies now please bring them up by the power that raised Christ from the dead outside inside every spirit in the name of Jesus release families release destinies release destinies hallelujah hallelujah now the lord is speaking something very interesting there is a spirit that has been released that is breaking homes breaking homes that altar in the name of jesus any family please bring them out in the name of jesus i declare those yokes be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now God is opening my eyes and I'm seeing someone is like you are inside a cave there is nothing that you do that finds visibility right now the power of God is coming on you I don't know where they are but right now in the name of Jesus I declare come out of that cave now spiritually come out of that cave now come out of that cave now outside inside come out of that demonic cave now the lord is showing me the number 24 and i'm seeing people but in the realm of the spirit i'm not seeing a face 
just the parts of the body but no face something has covered your glory so that nobody is able to see what you carry right now the power of god is coming on so i unfail you right now i unfail you right now help them please bring them out i unfail you right now by the spirit of god everything that has covered your glory in the name of jesus let it be unfailed now 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 hallelujah bring them out there is someone god is visiting you are from emo state i just saw i am o emo i don't know where that person is but in the name of jesus may the power of god right now that which was done by altars tying you down that nobody in your family rises i declare be free now 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 the spirit of delay here it comes i see an anointing i'm seeing like rain like rain spirits that have tied down people in one position many of you this will come upon you right now father everyone who has been kept at the same position right now in jesus name may that fire come upon you please bring them out go forward go forward go forward i break the chains i release you i release your children i release your family go forward in the name of jesus hallelujah we'll take the testimony shortly the lord is showing me a family you came here there is a spirit the moment you get married you start going down financially and in every state it's not just you it has happened also to the people around and the lord is saying i should rebuke that spirit it's like the moment marriage happens the people start going down father i don't know where they are but if there is anyone under the sound of my voice under that influence in the name of jesus at the count of three i declare your deliverance right now one two three be set free now be set free now be set free now the lord is showing me a contractor you are a contractor you do contracts your money has been tied down it has been a battle from one place i'm seeing you moving from office to office pleading with people to release your resources in the name of jesus if you believe this prayer i'm praying for you my god will surprise you in jesus name yeah. hallelujah dead people dead people people who have gone visiting you again and disturbing you we're not talking of the spirits of just men made perfect the spirit of hades the dead i'm praying right now there's someone every night as you sleep you keep seeing dead people i declare the power of god is coming upon you for the sake of you and your family father let there be deliverance now deliverance now untimely death manifestations of darkness tying down your life please open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare i declare that i'm loose from everything that has tied me down by the power that raised christ from the dead is someone praying i declare i i stand fast in the liberty wherewith christ has set me free i declare that i go forward I advance in the spirit i advance financially pray maritally in my career in ministry someone is praying
Hallelujah. Who is Deborah? But they call you Deborah. I think your name is Deborah, but they call you Deborah. Please let's hurry up because we have to pray. Make sure that you, you, you know what I'm saying before you come here. Deborah, that's what they call you. Who is that? I'm still praying. There are still a few people who will join them and I'll pray for them at once. Deborah, who is that person? It's all right. I will still pray for you. The Lord wants to open because I'm seeing a door that is opening. And the Lord is saying I should pray. And I saw that name, Deborah. D-E-B-R-A. Maybe it's a short form for Deborah. I do not know. Can I pray for you? Father, in Jesus' name, you have spoken over these people. Let the anointing that makes for open doors right now. Let that anointing rest upon you. Receive it right now. Let that anointing rest. Some of you, it will not be up to one month. It will not be up to one month. God will open strange doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will not be up to one month. I declare those doors open now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Help them, the ones who came late. Don't worry, you are in an atmosphere of the anointing. I stretch my hands towards you. Those who came after I'm done with the prayer, don't worry. The power of God is setting you free right now. Let that grace, that mantle for open doors for a new season, let it rest upon you now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. This may not be for everybody, but the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing people climb a ladder. I don't know who that person is. That means God is saying the current season you are in, that it has come to an end. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, everybody who should go to the next level by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may the unction, the anointing, that makes for that new level receive abakata bakata help them please receive it now receive it now you have come past this mountain long enough i command rise to a new level rise to a new season rise to a new season in the name of jesus christ for the bible says the path of the just is as a shining light is that in your bible and hear me if there is any barrier stopping you from rising higher i decree and declare let it clear out of the way now <laughs> hallelujah now the lord is revealing something interesting for me i just had the word laughter and the power of god is coming upon people literally they're going to begin to laugh literally i decree and declare right now the bible says the shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tents of the righteous therefore i declare welcome to a season of laughter welcome to a season of laughter financial laughter marital laughter career laughter oh weeping and joys for a night but i prophesy to you your morning has come with it comes laughter sarah said and all who hear this will laugh with me i decree and declare again i say to you laughter even by the spirit of the living god please don't think you are just receiving mere words no there is something coming upon your life the days of crying has come to an end the days of crying has come to an end now hear me please the lord is asking me to speak to someone every time good things happen you are afraid of them because it does not last 
whether it's good relationships or finances is like nothing lo has longevity in your hand the spirit that is behind it that makes your laughter and your joy short-lived in the name of jesus i command that it gives way now that it gives way now hallelujah i'm here to pray that prayer but there are two people you are in business you are in business but for a season it looks like things have not worked right now two of them it may be more but what god says to one he says to all but i'm seeing two people they will start running out now by the anointing please hold them is a grace for speed that is coming upon them i speak over your business help them in the name of jesus the son of the living god i don't know what it is that you do i use this once as a point of contact everything that has pegged your feet at the same level right now speed take that grace right now take that grace right now speed in the name of jesus christ no retrogression no stagnancy by the power that raised christ from the dead hallelujah the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing someone you came with an x-ray report an x-ray like a, an x-ray is if there's if you find that person let me speak over that person so that we can take a few testimonies all of you who are in front here in the name of jesus the spirits of oppression i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead you let them go right now go now release their destinies now release their families now release their businesses now in the name of jesus christ out of them now out of them now for upon mount zion the bible declares there shall be liberty and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions i declare be free now hallelujah can i declare over open doors before we sit down he said i am he that was dead but now is alive and he holds the key of david there is a mystery in the spirit called the key of david he says with that key he opens a door that no man can shut i want to pray for you in the name of jesus there are doors that men can shut it depends on who is opening it i decree and declare anyone standing before a closed door please hear me in the name of jesus between august and september i prophesy to you enter your open doors Enter that open door. I speak to that door. Ephata, be open, be open, be open, be open, be open. The rest of his life will be pain in the house of Laban. By the time we get to Genesis 32, he was wiser. He dismissed his wives, his children, and there came to him a man again. He held him and said, leave me for the day break it. He said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said, what is your name? He said, Jacob. He said, thou shalt no longer be called Jacob. For as a prince, you have had power with God and prevailed. Thou shalt be called Israel. And he blessed him and touched the horn of his thigh. The Bible says, then the sun arose and he called the name of the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. There are preachers who will catch fire this night. There are businessmen who will be restored this night. Hear me. There are some of you in government. God has a great destiny for you. But the grace to take you there is not yet there. takes more than campaign and more than this believe me uh -uh. until that grace is upon you you will only re be recycling pain there is an anointing called a king maker anointing no king anoints himself in the next two minutes 
I don't know how you are going to cry to God but I like you from the depth of your spirit in the next two minutes cry and say father that grace that must come upon my life to be a witness of your resurrection whether in ministry whether in business whether in politics I like you to pray from the depth of your heart Pray from the depth of your heart. Those following by television, pray. Someone pray. Mama, pray. It's time for you to carry a mantle. Man of God, pray. The power of God is resting on people now. Please begin to bring them out. Whether you are an usher or not, just help us. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Whether you are an usher or not, if someone is under the anointing, please help bring them out and then you can return back to your seat. Please pray. That grace is falling on someone. It's time for a change of story. It's time for Saul to become Paul, even by the Spirit of the Living God. Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. We all with faces unveiled, beholding Him as it is in the mirror, we are changed from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now hear me please I want you to be sensitive we're getting to the point of the ministration now whether you are inside or outside the power of God comes upon someone close to you please help so that there is a reason why I ask that they bring them out it's not for sure Ubangi chika isaya bo na kirma masunanka Ubangi chi ne na doka ka sunanka Ubangi chika isaya bo na kirma masunanka Ubangi chi Now I'm seeing the number 31 and the Lord is taking away the spirit of delay the power of God is coming on them I decree and declare at the count of three everyone who has suffered delay here I stand by the God of heaven in partnership with all the graces here that devil must give way now at the count of three bring them out one two three I command that spirit go now go now go now delay we come against you in the name of Jesus personal delays corporate delays institutional delays I come by the road of a higher priesthood I confront altars I confront gates in the name of Jesus Christ hear me there are people here 
everything works for others until it gets to your turn the moment it gets to your turn mysteriously you don't seem to be able to step into certain blessings i stretch my hands let a mantle from heaven rest upon your life now help that man please rest upon your life now help that man my god help this woman the power of god is coming on you madam you will never be the same again hallelujah bring them out now the the lord is ministering to me to break the chains of untimely death there are many families here there is a track record burying loved ones before their time older parents burying the young ones i don't know who is standing here and there is an altar of death against your life but in the name of jesus at the count of three that devil must let you go i don't care how many years for the bible says blotting out every handwriting an ordinance that spoke against us therefore at the count of three let the spirit of death leave you one two three go 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 release your destinies now help them please release your destinies now untimely death over taraba state we command be banished in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah now please hear me i want to say something that i do not want you to find offensive there is a spirit around the middle belt that stems right up to these regions that does not allow anything that is started well to last beyond one or two generations you will find a responsible and successful father but there is no responsible son we almost don't have third or fourth generation anything because it looks like there is a spirit that aborts sustainability of impact i want to rebuke that spirit right now in the name of jesus for every parent here every captain of industry here you will not labor for nothing in the name of jesus if there is any family here help them that has a child male or female that is giving the problem the parents problems they have prayed and fasted and counseled some of them were sent abroad and they returned back in a way that brought pain to the parents in the name of jesus from this meeting may the angels of the lord's presence go and fetch those children from the hand of satan in the name of jesus now hear me please i believe in deliverance so there are wicked spirits that will not let people go in one word you are in, when i count three i want you to shout the name jesus please hear me any altar that is not of god it must give way now at the count of three as you shout that name i don't care how long it has been that has tied you down and your family down tonight must be your night of breakthrough father i decree and declare it was this shout that brought jericho down a city whose gate was shut the bible says nothing will go out and nothing will come in are you ready to shout jesus every spirit that has tied you by ancestry by bloodline it's time for your liberty one two three shout jesus i command those devils go now help them go now go now go now go now i rebuke you release families release destinies 
release families release ministries release government release local governments release regions release senatorial districts we command those spirits give way now hallelujah 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 praise the name of the lord now please listen to me i'm about to pray for the sick it is a terrible thing to come from a background where there is a legal access to powers of darkness that can hold sway your life and rubbish you and you are not able to manifest destiny let me tell you the truth some of you who are in government it's not because you are here i want you to mark what happens to you tonight believe me your lives will change in a way that will surprise you it is true hallelujah let me pray for the sick now hear me i believe in the healing power of jesus i am a product of the healing ministry of jesus all those who have come out by the spirit i declare the legal hold of satan over them i stand in agreement and we stand as the church of the lord jesus christ you are released now from every captivity for the bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered i declare your release now i declare your release now hallelujah hallelujah my phone please please sit down and let's have the word for the prophetic focus for tomorrow how many of you have seen transformation in your life your spiritual life every area please make sure you write down the prophetic focus is to help us it's very interesting how the Lord instructs that we address these things. Tomorrow, we're going to be considering the focus, this mystery called humility. Write it down. I'll be sharing with you some powerful keys. This mystery, write it the way I'm saying it. That's how God asked me to read it out. This mystery called humility we are going to be contending for grace tomorrow i'll be showing you the all surpassing excellence of true humility these are deep kingdom secrets that produce champions as if the devil does not exist james chapter 4 verse 6 james chapter 4 verse 6 Philippians chapter 2, verse 3, the anchor scriptures. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. 1 Peter 5, verse 6. 1 Peter 5, verse 6. I'll repeat it very quickly. This mystery called humility. James 4, verse 6. Philippians 2, verse 3. 1 Peter 5 verse 6. Tomorrow we are going to be examining the, the deceitfulness of pride and how it has cheated people from entering the realms of greatness and increase. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want us to please appreciate all those outside in all the overflows. Is this how you want to honor them? Please. Hallelujah. We honor all the people who come in. I know that many of them don't get to sit when you are sitting. They are standing all through. Some of them may have not broken their fast. But we love you. And um, I want to assure you that there will be a performance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to challenge everyone as we close. Friday, we are going to be um, five years. Koinonia by the grace of God. There's not much happening. We'll just share with you the mysteries of the kingdom. 
every one of you on friday i'm encouraging you to hold a sacrificial seed on friday and come with to the lord a sacrificial seed and say lord i'm honoring you i'm tapping i'm responding to what you are doing and please don't just get up on that day and then be putting your hand in your pocket it's something you should go and plan from now pray pray on it pray on it pray on it so that as we are burning the prayer request we are saying lord we are lifting an incense of worship so please make sure you do that with all your heart all your heart from the depth of your heart do it sincerely unto the lord by the way if you are not following us on facebook and twitter you are missing a lot especially at this time the media department is doing a remarkable job let's honor them let's bless them very very remarkable job and um, so make sure you are on board with us follow the instructions there and prayerfully um, i will send the, the message media you upload it or just provide the link so people can download and then you listen to it tomorrow we're here eight o'clock again please come with all your heart um the final encouragement is please try to eat well i know that god is helping us but we're functioning at different levels of graces don't stand up and jump into a realm you are not ready for and kill yourself just say me i will start my own drive fast today i didn't say that you eat well immediately after the service and you rest well because what what you know because of the weather many of us are facing a lot of dehydration i'm not a doctor but please take a lot of water i do that personally a lot of water take a lot of water not just minerals and and um, um, juice and all of that that's wonderful but take a lot of water pure water take a lot of it and it's going to help you and i've told us okay if i didn't say it here i'm sorry don't break your fast with solid food at once you are going to hurt the lining of your stomach if you do that for three days i promise you you will enjoy yourself you can take water room temperature be patient for five to ten minutes it won't kill you and then afterwards you can now follow it once you just start eating like that you are going to hurt yourself this will tell more when we get from wednesday to thursday so please make sure that you take a lot of water take liquids and then eat well the lord will bless us let's rise up father we thank you for your grace your help we thank you for your word to us i pray in the name of jesus that the altar of sacrifice will begin to speak in your life in the name of jesus christ all of the sacrifices you have made for the kingdom i pray that like mordecai a book of remembrance will be opened over you and the lord will reward you a thousandfold in the name of the lord jesus christ after we share the grace i'd like you to hug um, 20 people just bless them tell them whatever you want to tell them and please make sure you invite as many people tomorrow the fire is getting hotter as the days go um, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please, if you have a vehicle, don't go alone. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.